yeah, musecore.org, get it, install it, launch it, and I'll be using musecore throughout this whole class. So um, you'll be able to see what I can, what I'm doing, and you can recreate those things to hear on your own uh, your stuff. The main reason I like using MuseScore is so that you can hear it, right? Like looking at a bunch of notes only does us so good. You need to know kind of what it sounds like and what the effect is uh, of that thing. So this is a great way to do it. Um, that's it. Those are our main tools. MuseScore, software, and pencil and paper. Now, in order to get some good staff paper, you can go on Amazon, you can go anywhere, and you can find all kinds of great staff paper. But just to keep things nice and simple and inexpensive. I'm going to give you a PDF of staff paper in the next little segment here. So download that PDF. It's just going to be a blank piece of pap uh, staff paper. Download that, print off, you know, 10, 15, 20 copies and keep it next, next to your desk. That's all you need for staff paper. Just download this thing I'm going to give you and print it um, so that you have something you can scribble on. If you want to get fancy staff paper, uh, Amazon is great. I like the archives brand, but there's bunches of different ones. Cool. Okay. So coming up next is your PDF uh, of the staff paper, and then we're going to do a little bit of review.